So let's look at all three fragrances from a very famous line called Blue de Chanel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dip Chod. Now today we're going to be reviewing a very famous line called Blue de Chanel. Now this particular line, everyone is aware of it. Not only fragrances, but even non-fragrances are aware of it. Uh, even my family members, my friends, everyone I know of, aware of it, and some of them are even using this particular fragrance, which is a big deal. So a lot of people are looking for this particular fragrance. So I thought, why not review all the three concentration of this particular fragrance? Now, if you're lacking the content, guys, I'm providing to you. Please look to subscribe to my channel, as on this channel we talk about everything related from fragrance. So let's start with the first release from this line, which was EDT. Now let's start with the EDT concentration. Let's put a couple of sprays of it. Now this particular uh, perfume was released back in 2010, and the perfumer is Jack's Porch. Now this particular opening is a very fresh opening. You smell the grapefruit opening, which a lot of people talk about, along with lemon. Now lemon is providing the freshness to it, which the other two concentration don't have. So this is much much more fresh option for it. What I will also say is that it's a very boring option actually. I have smelled this kind of opening quite a lot. There's a lot of other fragrance where I've smelled this particular uh, opening. But it's a very efficient opening that in a way that everyone loves this particular opening. It's easily likable opening in my opinion. It's not very in-depth, it's not very niche, it's just that it works. It's a bit like a plain white shirt, you can wear it anytime, you know, it will work. So that's what I think about the opening. Now in about half an hour, this freshness goes away and then you start smelling the, the woodiness, the sandalwood comes into the play, uh, so that it, it transitions into that woody op opening which is also very likable in my opinion. And surprisingly for EDT concentration which only has 5 to 15% of oil concentration, this projects very well. That was the surprising bit I found for this particular fragrance. Uh, it projects well and it lasting was around 6 to 7 hours. For EDT concentration, lasting 6 to 7 hours is pretty good in my opinion. So what I will say about this particular uh, fragrance is that it's a very safe fragrance to wear. Uh, it's very likable, so even non frag heads uh, will love it. Uh, you want to impress someone, this particular concentration of Blue de Chanel is excellent. So in 2014, exactly four years later, Chanel released the next uh, concentration of Blue de Chanel with EDP concentration. Now, EDP concentration generally is about 10 to 20% of oil concentration. So, and the perfumer was also the same, Jack's Porch. Now, this one is not as fresh as EDP. Uh, this is more woodier, more dense as compared to the EDT concentration. What I will say about this particular uh, ED, uh, concentration is that uh, I feel EDT and EDP are like two brothers cut from the same cloth, but one is fresh and happy, the other one is intense. This is more intense version of the EDT. And the other surprising bit again for me was for EDP concentration, this lasted a very long time, close to nine hours, which with very good projection. Uh, having this kind of scent profile, which is very blue, uh, creating fragrance which can last, which you can wear in summer, spring, uh, hats off. This is, that's the reason I believe this particular uh, concentration was the one which sold a lot because it checks out all the boxes in my opinion. So I think with they improved the version from ED2 to EDP uh, and that's uh, hats off to Chanel for doing that. Now the next chapter of Blue de Chanel was the Parfum Edition which was released back in 2018 and it has about 15 to 40% of oil concentration. And the perfumer in this case was Oliver Polge, not Jack Paul. Oliver Polge is son of Jack Polge. Now, in my opinion, Oliver Polge has totally reconstructed this particular fragrance. Now, this has got the herbal uh, fruity base to it as compared to the freshness the, uh, of the EDT concentration. 
if I have to say EDT was more happy, EDP was more intense, perfume is more sophisticated because this is extremely smooth. Whenever I wear this particular fragrance, I feel like I should go on a dinner date or something of that sort. And this is a Blue de Chanel which you can wear on, on a date for sure. So I absolutely love this particular fragrance. This is my favorite of the three. Uh, however, uh, what I will say is that uh, this is uh, suited more for certain occasions in my opinion. So the, all the three concentration which have been released I will say my favorite is definitely the Parfum Edition. So let's conclude this particular review with oh my overall thoughts. So let's conclude my final thoughts on this particular line. Now like I've already said Parfum is my favorite of three. And if I have to buy one fragrance out of it, that's it's definitely going to be Parfum. But what I will say about Parfum Edition is that uh, it will be appearing more to the fragheads who are into fragrance. If you are a kind of a non frag hair, you're not much into fragrance and if you're looking for a casual fragrance, then EDT is the way to go forward in my opinion. Now if I have to buy two fragrances out of this particular line, then it's going to be Parfum and EDP. Uh, I feel that EDP does everything which EDT does, but it does better. The only thing which is missing is the freshness in the op opening, which EDP does not have. Now my concern about this particular line is the price point. The price point is very high for what it gives. Uh, if you look into it, EDT costs around about 9700 uh, for 100 ml or 150 ml I think, which is a very heavy price point to pay. And uh, I think uh, EDP is also around 13,000 rupees and I think uh, Parfum is even costlier than that. Now you could get a grey market, you could get a niche fragrance, a couple of niche fragrance for this particular price point. So that's the only concern which I have got about this particular line. Other than that, it's a very easy DNA to wear and very enjoyable fragrance to have. So guys, this is my review. I hope you like it and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.